Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal Zion Williamson. Now, I know Zion already got a Galaxy Opal, and this is just an upgraded version of that Zion. And honestly, on paper, the cards look relatively similar, but there are a few differences about this Zion that I really like and think are going to make him even better at the small forward position, considering that other Zion was still a very good card, probably a top five small forward in my team. Now, this Zion is going to be even better, and I really do think he's going to be very, very good at that small forward position so i'm excited to try this card out and see how good he is in my team before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 10,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day and i'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe a huge shout out to my boy big bird for letting me hop on his account to record this video in addition to the jaron jackson jr gameplay and jalen brown gameplay that i'm gonna be recording for tomorrow but um yeah let's see what this zion card is looking like he's six foot seven 99 offense and defense 97 driving layup 89 midi 93 ball Ball, sorry 89 three ball 90 midi 95 standing 99 driving dunk 86 ball handle 90 block 92 steel perimeter and interior defense 92 rebounding 97 speed and excel 95 speed with ball and a 94 lateral quickness he's got a few small statistical boosts over the other zone nothing too crazy 15 hoffs are acrobat bully fast twitch fearless finisher giant slayer limitless takeoff masher posterizer corner specialist clamp breaker quick first step anchor pogo stick rebound chaser and brick wall i think he's got the exact same offs as the other zone but gold badges are slightly better 40 instead of 33 badges like drop step or rise up blinders catch and shoot claymore dead eye guard up limitless range which the others out only had on bronze that's a pretty decent chunk right there that's a valuable upgrade to be completely honest uh slippery off ball as well bailout uh break starter handles for days hyper drive unpluckable vice grip ankle braces challenger chase down his clamps glove which the other zion couldn't get at all that's an upgrade right there interceptor off ball pass pick dodger post lockdown workhorse and box out beast so overall his stats and badges are both slightly better than the other zion and i really did like the other zion a lot he still only has 90 stamina so that's something to keep in mind. You're going to want to upgrade his stamina if you do pick this Zion card up because he's going to get tired pretty easily with only a 90 stamina. That may sound high, but 90 stamina is not high in this game, especially with Zion for whatever reason with his player build, which is super wide, is, is not is, is just not that great. So that's something you have to consider is that he gets tired pretty quickly. The wideness of the player build is super nice though in terms of rebounding and mashing and things like that. Uh, if y'all know, if y'all have used Zion, if y'all use his pink diamond earlier in the year cards like that, he was really good. He's got O'Shea Brissett base, which is really, really good. I don't love of his upper but still the release is very very good it's fast smooth and easy to green he's got the normal leaner now with gold limitless it's even better um so there's a lot to like about the zion card he's also got the francis size up the damian lillard escape so he's got a lot of like really good sigs as well there's all i mean this card is very very good i feel like zion the uh, previous opal kind of became overlooked pretty quickly like he was super hyped at first and then wound up not being all that hyped up toward the end but i think he uh almost became a little bit underrated and this new zion is an even better version of that haven't heard anybody talk about this card really but i do believe he's going to be one of the best small forwards in my team and i'm really excited to try this card out so let's hop into a game and let's see what zion williamson can do all right our opponent he's got the new steph scotty pippen jason tatum chet holmgren and paul george so pretty solid squad for him nothing too insane but definitely a decent little team right here let's hop into this game and let's see what we can do we do get the win the tip with uh Oluwakandi, and let's get into our offense see if we can hit zion in the corner catch run to the run away yes sir drag back that's a good look for zion that should be why is that why was that so fast that felt faster than normal for whatever reason good defense by zion should have been a steal the game didn't give it to me but that felt sped up for some reason i don't know why um i am on playstation as i say every time i'm on playstation for whatever reason i suck at shooting on playstation because i really only use this console for the most part when i'm doing gameplay so that's something to keep in mind is that i'm not a great shooter on playstation for whatever reason uh, that's terrible offense but he gets rewarded with a foul and free throws so that is not an ideal start to this game by any means but we should be all right i the fact that that was his offense and then we got a good shot on the first possession definitely gives me hope that we should be able to get ourselves some buckets in this game not going to try to dribble with zion too much i mean we are definitely are going to take advantage of the fact he's got good six and all that stuff but definitely not going to worry too much about it simply because of the fact he does seem to get tired pretty quickly because of the low stamina so great dunk right there nice little front clutch getting to the rim and throwing down a dunk for his first bucket of the game we'll use him as a pick and pop guy some in this game catch and shoot all that stuff not just going to force to the rim and try to dribble with him every single possession but early in the game at least we're going to see if we can get him some buckets drag it walking back Zion for three that's a good look and that's a green light that preset base is so nice even though I don't love the Zion upper it is such a good release still because of how nice his base is and it's great shot right there it gets us a bucket nice back door there i'll give i'll give him credit that was a nice nice back door that he got himself a bucket off of and uh, magic's pushing the ball up the court um but yes sir come set me a yo sound why are you so you know what we're just gonna okay 
Let's not talk about that possession. That was ugly. All right, Zion, come set me a pick and pop. We're down by three, two, or down by two right now. Our opponent's actually not bad, I will say that. Hit it to Zion, catch, attack, see if we can go get ourselves a bucket here. Zion, nice size up, good move. That's where Gold Limitless comes in handy, right there. Even though I freaking missed because I suck on this damn console. That's that's still where it comes in handy right there. Is, is him having that is good block by Zion as well. It's just so useful to have that in to have that now that he didn't have because it just gives him an extended range and makes him a better shooter. We are down by five right now, though. I'm missing shots. I I've missed two wide open threes with Zion right now already in this game, which is pissing me off a little bit, I'll be completely honest. But uh, hit the pop again, Zion, catch, size up. Yes, sir. My spacing is awful. There's no way I'm in a freelance. There is absolutely no chance I'm in a freelance. Good pass to Magic, and we do green the three. We needed that, but I, I, there's no way I'm in a freelance. I, I guess I set the freelance, but I didn't turn it on. I don't know. But um, that was that was not good. We did get an assist with Zion, though. He does have five points and an assist, which is good. Why are we getting backdoored there? He just like shoved my Zion, it looked like, on the back door and got a freaking bucket there. This dude is AIDS. I'm not going to lie. He is back doorman right now. Um, good size up, though. Hit the pop again to Zion. Drag back. Chill. Y'all see it right here, though. He is getting tired, which is unfortunate. And that's one of the most annoying things about a Zion type card is that he does seem to get tired really, really easily, which is a shame because he honestly, there's a lot to like about the card in terms of the stigs and things like that. But the fact that he gets tired really easily is definitely not something to like. And that is a good shot there as well. Unorthodox, but it goes down. And this looks like it might be a loss, which would be a shame because I don't know how... I don't know. Don't feel like I should be losing this game, but it does look like we might wind up coming out of here with a loss regardless. He's not helping off the pop at all, which is really annoying, but stopping and popping Zion for three. Great look, and I can't freaking shoot. I don't know, man. Just, just That's three wide open shots that I've missed this game. I just have to be better, plain and simple. He's front running now, trying to be it, trying to stunt on me because he's got a lead. We can, we can still win this game. Game is not over. I just got to figure out how to green my shots for whatever reason, I'm, and I miss a dunk. Yo! Jason Tatum's a little boy. Good moves on. Thank you. We'll take that layup. He is a very strong, strong card. He drop steps guys way better than most people his size do for whatever reason. His pink diamond was the same way earlier this year. Uh, recover. Good D. Good D. We got to get a stop here. We cannot give. Yeah, how do I get back to it again? Uh, I don't know what his defensive settings are on, but they're giving up the back door every single play, which is not ideal. Hit the pop, catch and shoot, Zion from deep. You have gold limitless. That's a good shot, and that's a four-pointer. That's a huge bucket from Zion. He does have takeover as well. He's got slashing take, so that is nice to have. It's only a two-point game right now. That's a little deep. He did miss it. Let's go. Good shot by him, honestly, in terms of shot selection, but he didn't green it, and we will take that all the way, uh, all the way to the rim. Zion Williams, standing dunk over two guys. Let's go. This has not been my best performance, and yet Zion still has 13 points a rebound and an assist if only i was green in my wide open shots good defense we finally played a freaking back door it is a miracle let's go zion i know you're gassed but you got takeover we're going to the rim and we're drawing a foul let's go get to check out zion's free throw right here i don't know really what it looks like okay no his free throw is fine it's pretty good uh i think i have used zion's free throw before as well when i was using the card previously free throw is not bad as i smoked the second one because i suck i'm just not playing good at all this game the fact that i'm in this game at all is, is honestly a little bit of a miracle in of itself that i'm only down by one because i have played absolutely terribly missed so many shots just got to be better plain and simple but um game is not over yet we're gonna see what we can do uh it, magic bursting you are literally past him there's no way we're getting shoved there zion you're he's a little boy let's go zion slashing take for whatever reason zion just has an ability to finish around the rim which he should because he's obviously an incredible finisher in real life but he is a amazing finisher in the game finishes way better than people his size generally do in this game he's still got takeover we got to go get ourselves a Okay, he's gonna foul. I would not have fouled there. Uh, I'm not sure if his coach maybe his his coaching settings made him foul there with the late game fouling on or something. But that is not a situation that I would have fouled. Zion back to the free throw line does knock down both free throws this time. We have 18 points with him in this game, which is a lot, especially considering how poorly I feel like I've played. I thought he was gonna make that, but he didn't, and that's gonna be a win. Sloppy performance, and yet we got the job done. And Zion still had 18. So let's hop back to the main menu and let's review the card. All right, I really do believe that Zion is honestly really, really good. The fact he gets tired quickly annoys me, but he still dominated that game, and I played poorly. Like, plain and simple, I did not play good in that game, and he still played amazing as a whole. Let's see what he's going for on the auction house right now. I just kind of want to see, because I think this is going to be one of the more underrated cards from today's drop, simply because of the fact that he didn't, um, that his last Opal was like, honestly overrated in and of itself or underrated in and of itself i should say um zion's not going to be that expensive to be completely honest i don't expect that he'll be a buyout but only never mind he's a buyout oh my gosh this card is really really good for this value like 
really, really good. I would strongly recommend picking up Zion if you're looking for a budget small forward because he is really good to be going for less than 100,000 MT. Plain and simple. He's less than like 80K right now. This is crazy. I had no idea this car was going to be this cheap. I, wow. He's like 70 something thousand MT. That is really, that blows my mind a little bit. I'll be completely honest. I would highly recommend picking up Zion if you need a small forward for less than 80,000 MT. This card is an absolute stud. Moves really well. Great slasher. Really good defender. Plays bigger than his size, obviously, because of the player build. Finishes incredibly well. He's really, really good. And I had no idea he was going to be that cheap. So uh, definitely impressed by Zion. The fact that he has this type of value and is this cheap is honestly really good as well. So hopefully you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.